Hey guys, welcome to another question of the day. Today's question is about how do I size for a breast implant or when I come to have a breast augmentation, how do I know what size is best for me? This is a great question, something I do all the time. So let's talk about it, let's go through the different pieces. The first thing we're gonna do is do a physical examination. Outside of talking to you about what your goals are and what you're looking for, we're gonna do a physical examination to assess your breasts. Everyone's breasts are different. They come some more narrow, some wider, some taller, some flatter. They come in all shapes and sizes and we have to sort of accommodate and customize an approach for you guys. The first thing I'm gonna do is try to connect with you in our conversation about what's too big, what's too small, what's your goal. One thing that I do in my practice that's been really helpful is I have you go look for what I call vision board photos or wish pictures. We're gonna have you go to a specific website where you can pull up multiple pictures of other people who've had breast augmentations, and we're gonna have you look for someone who has a similar body type that you have, similar skin quality, similar breast shape, and you're gonna look at their before and afters. Because if you come in to see me and you say, I wanna be a C cup, or I wanna be a B cup, or a D cup, or a double D cup, that means something different to you than it means to me, and it's different on everybody. So it helps me get inside of your head to get a better understanding of what it is you're looking for. I have you bring wish picks in, and that way I know what size you're looking for. So that's one tool that I use. The second tool that I use to size you is after I've taken your measurements, we're gonna bring in various types of implants. You can see a bunch of them displayed here, and this is demonstrating to you the different profiles of implants. There are flatter implants that we call low profile. A little bit more narrow at the base and taller implant is a moderate profile. An even taller and more narrow at the base is a high profile. So how do we determine which one of these is the right one for you? This is my favorite analogy that I love to use when I have a consult. And I talk about how you go to pick out your shoes, ladies. So when you go to buy shoes, you buy flats, wedges, or high heels. They come in different sizes. When you go to pick a shoe, if you're a size five, you're gonna look for a size five shoe. If you look for a size 10 shoe, it's gonna be way too big for your foot. Very similarly in the breast, if your breast width measurement is 10 centimeters, but we pick a 15 centimeter wide implant, half of the implant is in your armpit and nobody wants that. So the first thing we do is we take that base diameter or that diameter measurement of your breast to determine which width is the one that is good for you. Once we've got that, we then have you try on different implants to figure out what volume are you gonna be happy with. That's where your wish pictures kind of come into play for me. Once you try on different implants at different volumes, now we have to determine, do we need the flats, the wedges, or the high heels? Implants come the same way. So if you're a petite woman with a more narrow breast but you're looking for a slightly larger implant, the flat and the wide one isn't gonna fit your breast. Again, that's a scenario where half of the implant's hanging into the armpit. What you're gonna need is something that's taller and more narrow to fit the base diameter of your actual breast. So in that case, we may determine that at X volume, you either need a moderate or a high profile implant in order to get the best result for you. So that's how we size the breast when you come in. The other thing I wanna caution you about is a lot of people get hung up on volume. They freak out at, I will never have a 500 cc implant or I will never have a 600, I'll never have a 200. And it really ultimately has nothing to do with the volume because the volume on you is different than the volume on a friend of yours because you're starting out with a different volume of breast tissue. And so when we add a certain implant to your breast, it's gonna be different than a friend of yours. At the end of the day, I try to match your wish photos in the operating room with your body type and what you're looking for and whatever volume that happens to be, that's all I care about. So I don't want you to get caught up looking in the mirror going, I'm not a B or a C or a D cup. I want you to look in the mirror and go, that's exactly the shape and size that I was looking for. I don't care what the bra size says that I am. I'm happy with what I have and that's really ultimately all that matters. So. That's how we size the breast. I appreciate that question. Again, you guys ask the question and I'll answer it. Have a great day.